Hi, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. It's an ultra rare occurrence when an American Civil War soldier is referenced in the national news. Such was the case yesterday when U.S. Congresswoman Liz Cheney mentioned her ancestor, Samuel Fletcher Cheney, of the 21st Ohio Infantry. Of course, my research mind spun into gear. I wondered, is there a photograph of him available? What was his wartime experience like? Cheney, in her comments, gave us a couple of, uh, a couple of tidbits, a couple of details about his service record, but I really became curious to find out more. Let's start with the photograph. I found one, and it was located on the find a grave entry for Cheney. And um, there was no source to the photograph, so I wasn't able to track it any further. But you can see by the copy here that there is some banding going on across the image, which suggests to me that it was scanned out of a book uh, and the paper quality was not the best. Or this may have been a Xerox uh, copy, um, a copy of a copy, in other words. Don't know, would love to find out more. But we can see here that he is pictured as an officer. And I'll get to that in a little bit. The other part of the question, or maybe the second question I had about his service record uh, was answered by going to my usual sources, the Civil War Research Database, Fold 3, and doing some general searching online. What I did find, and I'm going to give you just sort of an overview of Cheney's record uh, with the regiment, which I think gives you some perspective about who he was. And I have to tell you, when Representative Cheney first mentioned him, particularly the moment when she discussed, and this was during the hearings uh, yesterday, when she talked about him participating in the grand review at the end of the war, it conjured up an image of a private soldier um, with his musket slung over his shoulder, I thought about the difference between the Western troops and the Eastern troops, how those Eastern troops were in their finery with white gloves and shiny brass buttons compared to the Western troops who were more casual, uh, didn't have the same pomp and circumstance. And of course, Cheney being in the 21st Ohio would put him in the category of the Western troops. So uh, a confident, but uh, not quite uh, sharp looking soldier marching in the ranks with his regiment as they passed the reviewing stand where Lieutenant General Grant and President Johnson sat. Well, that's not quite the impression I came away with after I did the research. So I can boil it down to three things about his life and military service that um, folks didn't get who were listening in yesterday. First, He's part of the great Western migration that swept the country during the 19th century. Uh, he was born in New Hampshire in 1829, which means he was about 29 when the war started, a little on the high end for a soldier. The average Union soldier was about 26 and a half, 27 years old. So he's a little, a little older. Uh, anyway, he was born in New Hampshire in 1829, and he lives until 1911, dying in Nebraska. So Ohio is something of a stopping point for him along the way. And of course, Liz Cheney is from Wyoming, so that Western migration continues. That's the first note. Second note uh, is he definitely is in the first wave of Union volunteers less than two weeks after the bombardment of Fort Sumter in April 1861, Cheney enlists as a sergeant in Company K of the 21st. Now, the 21st is organized at that time as a three-month regiment with the belief that it's going to be a short war and there's not going to be much um, of a requirement for a standing volunteer army for longer than that time. Of course, we know that turned out not to be the case. Uh, and so 
when the regiment is reorganized for three years in August of 1861, Cheney, who served as a sergeant, of course, during his three months in the regiment, advances to a second lieutenant. So that tells us a little something about him. During the rest of the war, he continues to advance in rank until he becomes a captain by the war's end. Interestingly, I didn't find any significant references to him in after action reports. For those of you who are new to the Civil War, action, after action reports are the official reports that the commander of a regiment would write after a battle, um, some other significant engagement, um, the Siege of Vicksburg, the Battle of Gettysburg, those sorts of events. I didn't find any references to him uh, in those after action reports. But one interesting detail, aside from his rise from sergeant to second lieutenant to first lieutenant to captain, is that at the very end of the war, literally the closing days of the war in North Carolina, uh, as those um, Bentonville and those final engagements are winding down, uh, the commanding officer of the 21st is assigned to brigade command. And at that point, Cheney is assigned to command of the 21st. So in essence, he's acting as colonel at the very end of the war, which speaks to, I think, his valor. I think it could also speak to the fact that he could be the senior captain in the regiment. At any rate, he has the kind of, uh, there's a certain rhythm, there's a certain um, positive cadence to his military career, moving through the ranks quietly, steadily, that um, I typically look for when I see an officer who has been a contributor, a steady contributor to his regiment. So that's my three takeaways. That's my notes on Samuel Fletcher Cheney. I hope you enjoy this episode. And until we meet again, happy trails.